Okay, welcome to the Zeph Report, uh, connected to Sri Lanka and Govinda. Here we are again, human 2020, 20 on 20. That means 20 minutes of prayer uh, and, uh, you know, for the ending of human trafficking. And, of course, connected to all human trafficking is all the other bad stuff. <laughs> it's all connected. Hey, how's, how's everybody out there today? God bless you guys. All right. And here's Govinda. Here's Trish. Are you Govinda. Here? Great to hear your yes. voice, brother. Okay. So now you, oh. the mic you talked to Govinda on is here. It's on the laptop. Okay. And that mic there is your mic for the recording. See, I have my own weird way of doing this. Okay. I'm kind of doing it old school. Okay. So you need your long cord there. All right. So here we are and away we go. So what's been happening, Govinda, with the uh, progress in this regard, regarding the... Uh, the human- you, you know, I, I think one thing I'm seeing more and more, Zeph, is just there's a greater awareness, a greater engagement, um, and I'm also seeing things starting to crack up more on the world side as well. I mean, we're, we're, we're as we're kind of watching some of these things unfold as time is going on, um, it's some of the changes that are are taking place on the different on the different fronts there's legislative changes that are taking place there's technological innovations and changes that are coming forward there's different ways that people are starting to realize that they can engage and uh, I mean like uh, on the commodity side, people are starting to, to wonder about the different things that they buy and where they're made from and, and how they're made. And they're starting to ask, well, is there another source? Is there another way they can buy something? They're starting to get more responsible and starting to look into these products and not just buying what's on the shelf for, for something that's just a cheap price. Um, we're, you know, we're starting to just see people starting to say, what can they do with their particular skill sets and how can they how can they help and how can they engage and how can they make a difference so there's definitely a lot more momentum than that that even at the start of this last year um, towards solutions on the side of human trafficking i think people that have been praying with us people that have been paying attention they're regularly now seeing the articles seeing things that are happening out there forwarding stuff to us making us aware of different things that are happening in other places as well um I mean, I think you guys saw the interview that we did with Alex Jones uh, recently as well yeah. with Jakari. And just even there, I mean, like as a station and as a news outlet, um, definitely one of the leading news outlets today, those guys have made this, you know, a focal issue and they're, they're staying on it. They're, they're watching and seeing what's happening. They're bringing things out there. They're starting to highlight um, a, you know whatever it is that's relating to that topic and bringing people back on point so I, I think there's more of a focused and a deliberate effort and people are getting more organized today than probably at any point in the in the recent past for sure so we are definitely seeing things move and I know as we're praying as well the the biggest changes too are that are shifting is in the realm of the spirit because that too things I mean, as we know, and the people that have been close to the work that we've all done, um, it, things begin in the realm of the spirit, and then they manifest themselves in the natural. So we're really seeing those rumblings and those shakings in the realm of the spirit, and that, those are having natural manifestations. So I, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged with where things are moving. I'm encouraged to see some of the things that are on the horizon. Um, I'm encouraged for some things that are coming up, even going into this next year. It looks like that, and like you mentioned, Alex Jones. That means automatically you're a uh, you're some sort of shill. You know? <laughs> you know what? I was on the show on Alex Jones's channel the week before Trump. So and was, Trump's a shill now too. Both of you guys are shills. I'm a shill too because I don't. Do, yeah. So you see all that war on on the internet, but you know, like with regards to Donald Trump, what's so interesting is here he is out. You know, inching toward 9-11 topics. I don't say 9-11 truth because that's a pejorative negative term. Uh, but toward, you know, this idea that there's, you know, f- flying the Saudis out, I think he said in the debate. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and that's documented. And it's, it's not conspiracy. It's fact. It, everyone knows it. What's the collusion between bin Laden's and the Bushes? That needs to be looked into. Trump mentions that in the debate. Jeb Bush freaks out. He doesn't know what to do. And he just screams at him, You're not going to be president. You're a chaos <laughs> candidate. You know, just crazy over the top. 
I, 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 I've uh, seen things I, I never thought I would see before, is my point. Well, you know, the, these guys, the, the, the worlders, they, they start to crack up when they start feeling like they're losing control. You know, when they start feeling like things are coming apart, that, that all their little pieces are not working. And, uh, you, you, you know, when they, when they start cracking up, it, 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 it's, uh, I mean, it's ugly. It's ugly when they come apart. It's they, great, got too, else. that uh, is, it, Putin has forced uh, Obama's, uh, uh, you know, kill Assad thing off the table, and the neocons are going crazy. They just can't stand it. But Putin, having Putin and Trump on the world stage is really refreshing because a lot more truth is coming out. Right. Well, and, that, and that's consistent with the transition we're in. Yes. You know, I mean, we're, we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more of this. Yeah, look, Amen. I'm very encouraged to what I see, but at the same time, you know, Jesus really said it when he said, you know, that which is held in secret will be shouted from the rooftops. And, and I believe that that word yeah. is for right now. Seems like it. Because it's all those secrets are coming out into the mainstream. Mainstream news has turned into, you know, irrelevant media. I mean, nobody really pays attention to them. It's everything is coming from the YouTubes and the internet. And, you know, like you say, you mentioned Alex Jones. Alex Jones is a station like Fox News. It's getting huge. And, Huge. and you know, they do talk about things like, uh, and it's not just one person, Alex it's, Jones, yeah, it's, all it's, of it's a bunch of people. So when I see that popping through, which I never actually <laughs> never thought I would see, I, I thought, uh, to be honest, that Alex Jones was just a very popular um, internet station and that's about where it would stay. But we're seeing now across the board I looked at some YouTube videos recently by a couple of people that have stations there. And, um, you know, I see exposing the Illuminati of the entertainment business and uh, satanic ritual initiation that you have to go through if you want to be a, a rap star, let's say. Okay. And very explicit, done by this, this black guy who's in that hip hop community. He has 2 million views <laughs> on that video. I mean, that yeah. makes him a. That, you, 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 <laughs> so it's, it's two you, million people. You know, you know Zip, when, when I when I did the last interview, they actually had me come into the studio, and they they took me for a tour through the studio. And yeah. I tell you that that studio that they have is state of the art. I right. mean, it, yeah. it is it is no it is no um, hodgepodge operation. I mean, they they've. They've got, uh, and in fact, they're putting in a new, a new one, even in the middle of all of that. That, that I, I right. mean, th their operation itself is is exceptional. It's 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 class. It's uh, it's quality. It's all of those things that are there, and they're they're tooled to do proper journalism, you know. So, and the yeah. the nice thing too is that they're yeah. not beholden to um, uh, to the to the people that are controlling most of those other outlets, right. so that, they can actually do proper right. investigation. They can actually the, the do main, proper journalism. Journalism. They can actually put out right. truth. The yeah, mainstream it makes a huge difference. The mainstream, they, they all only lie. And the reason they only lie is because, you know, special interests own them and they can't say anything. There's another darker side to this, though, Govind, and this goes more to the spiritual battle. If they say anything, they get killed. I just have yeah. to put it out there. It's called blood yeah. sacrifice. Okay, if you speak about any... All these people have sold out to be, you know, have sold their souls to the devil, if you will, to be, you know, in the club or whatever, where there are secrets. And if anyone says like there is a club, they get killed. If it, you know what I mean? It's, I just want to make sure people understand the reason. Like, for example, when the Congress passes the budget, like you go, you wonder what the Republicans are, what the hell's going on. And then you, 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 if you put it all together in the spiritual map, you see the satanic sacrifice of San Bernardino. You see the benefit of that blood sacrifice is to pass this, uh, this insane budget. Along with the proviso that if any of these guys don't vote for this insane budget, that they too could be hurt. Now that's all raging behind the scenes. You know, this, this thing, well, you, you know, it's almost yeah. like when you, you, if you want to be a famous politician or famous or have wealth or whatever, they try to get involved or become gatekeepers of all that stuff, which they're losing a grip on, admittedly. 
you know so so you're not going to have uh what they really want is across the board control so nobody gets to do anything unless they go through this initiation and indoctrination uh period and then prove themselves in in that secret world that's not supposed to exist and if anyone says it does again off with their heads because they promise yeah. well that's all getting busted up they promise to keep all that a secret so your media in other words ladies and gentlemen your media has to take that same oath yeah yeah i just want and, to make and sure you, and alex jones yeah. didn't but look we also have all the you know jackals you know people that say they, they i don't look i'm not up on the zionist thing and all that stuff but they they're calling them all that those names and it seems like okay but but who would be the beneficiary of trying to bring him down it would be the mainstream media and the mainstream outlets and this but all of it goes then go into to this spiritual battle that we talk mm -hmm. about all the time which is based on deceit lies blackmail and anything that makes money media which is entertainment media is entertainment part of the entertainment industry and mm -hmm. entertainment of any kind okay of any kind all of that there um, have gatekeepers like in Hollywood my friend who's a producer and I used to laugh back in the 90s we were we, had, we were developing a screenplay that was exactly about all this stuff and and we because we were noticing how many people got whacked and made to look like accidents I mean all over LA this is happening ridiculous yeah. amounts of murders right I mean I, I, fortunate accidents where you know it's like the Michael Jackson thing Michael Jackson just happens to OD and uh, the beneficiary just happens to be the Jackson family. He's worth more dead than alive. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's that kind of thing, though, all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. and and what the the way people act, like I would watch, you know, people I knew act. They would act like it didn't happen. Because oh they, yeah, they can't it, talk about it. Yeah, you know, and and when you when you start scratching the surface, or when you start alluding to the things that everybody knows they go crazy they 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 start to they just they, they can't take they they can't take when a little bit of light just starts to creep through they've got to cover it up really quick well, look you know how, look and, how the uh, mainstream media is reacting to donald trump saying you know when they were they're critical of him for uh you know uh, accepting the praise of putin and praising putin himself and then they're they're like oh when he said Oh, we've killed a lot of people too, uh, you know. And we have. They're, they're like, oh, how can you say such a thing? Well, we have. I know. And they know it. And they're lying. Yeah. Right there, they're lying. Yeah. Right there, they're lying. Exactly. Right there, they're criminal. Yeah. You, you know, you know, Zeph, I, I was talking to a buddy of mine recently, and he made a pretty good point. Uh, you know, when, when, when something is being true to what it is, <laughs> It's very difficult to destroy that thing, whatever it is. And when, 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 people, when people are being true to, like, for example, when somebody's being true to who they are in Christ Jesus, and yeah. they're walking with Him, and they're on that solid foundation, and they yeah. allow the Spirit of God to make them what, who they really are, and they are in possession of their soul, and they're walking out their call, their purpose, it is very difficult to destroy that person, because they are what they are. And when a person yeah. is split, and when a person's gone the way of the world, they're not who they are, they're, on a, they're just on a, a shaky foundation. Those people are very easy to destroy so I, I think one of the reasons why we're seeing staying power with certain people that are out there that have a voice yourself included is because yeah. you're being true to who you are and when you're being true to who God's made you to be even though the attacks come you're able to weather it just like you know Jones just like a lot of others that are out there and I think that this is what we're seeing more and more is that the people that have been true to who God's made them to be they're emerging despite all the rest of these attacks that used to be par for the course and as we're going through it a spiritual transition right now as well right. Right. that transition we're seeing this shift take place and the 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 worlders they're they're coming a part of the seams already and we're yeah. we're just beginning on this thing we're this, just this, beginning this and thing that we're coming it is we're, we're just beginning on this they, thing they i mean think, it, it is it well go then look they think that the age of aquarius that's coming in you know we're going out of one age and into another and i think all the calendars of the world point to that you know, all the different, you know, whatever you want to call it, esoteric traditions, et cetera, et cetera, including the Bible are all kind of pointing to this. They think it's going to be theirs 
but they're gonna they're the ones that are gonna have the millennial reign yeah. when it's clearly Jesus Christ that is the gonna be the if there's any Aquarius going on it's gonna be Jesus not the same old Luciferian secret lying perverted crap going on mm -hmm. it's gonna be something more pure and uh, that's that's the way I see it and it, and you know it's like the reign of the Lamb and and I, and I just I see the the seals opening, you know, when they hide in the sixth seal, and they go, "Hide us from the wrath of the Lamb." Oh know? yeah, and 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 they're 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 scared of the Lamb. They should be. They're they're scared. <laughs> they're, they're, they're 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 scared of of a reversal of this world system. They're scared that God's actually going to move and have His way, which He's always moving. They just they've just in denial. They just convince themselves that you know they're going to get away with it. Save America, change the world. Yeah, that, that was a prophetic Amen. statement on your part. Save America, change the world. That's a quote from Govinda. And I think that... You, you know... I, that's, that's true. That, I don't that, know if we can save America. I'm, you know, I have to tell you, I'm having all kinds of horrible feelings about America. So... You, you know, I, I've, I've, and I've had my, my horrible feelings about America as well in the midst of all that. That, that word actually, Trish, you, if you remember the timing of that, yeah. that was what came to me in, it was, 20, it was 2013. And um, that was one thing before um, I got, just had me head back to the U.S. side for a while. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, and I've been stateside for over two years before I'm making this trip back to Sri Lanka again, because God's had us getting set, 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 things set up on that side as well for this push that the kingdom is doing, our kingdom, the kingdom that we're part of, the kingdom of God. I, I mean, here's the thing. That yeah. word just kept coming to me over and over and over again. We're, we're, we're not passive observers of everything. God has us here to also engage. We're his ambassadors. We're his representatives. We are the ones that testify. True. We're Amen. the ones that True. speak. We're, we're the ones that speak things from the realm of the spirit into the natural things. God gives us something to say. We say it and then it materializes. It comes to pass. I mean, we're, we're, we're participants right now in all of what's going on. So I believe too that that, that, that um, just that simple statement is is part of uh, of that transition as well. I know that there's those that have their designs and their ideas for what they want to do to the states, and I do think things will get rough. But also in the midst of that too, I know that God has His people in that nation. I know that God has people there that are praying, that are seeking His face. God has kept those that are His, and I believe we're going to see God's hand moving in incredible ways as well. And it's you know what. The thing, Zeph, that I'm encouraged about is that amidst all the worlders' plans, they've never been able to see what God's doing, even when it's right under their face, even it's when true. it's right under their nose. Yeah, they, they still had don't they, get it. like this election cycle. They had no idea Trump was going to pop up. That that blew their plans. And, and I was talking to someone earlier today about it. He goes, "You know, they're freaked out. They don't know what to do. They don't. They've never seen anything like this before." <laughs> yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you think, so, I, I mean, the scriptures say that with, with Jesus, that if they would have known, you know, that that what was going to end up happening, they would have, they would have, they would have stopped the crucifixion. They would have right. done everything they could have to try to keep that from ever happening. Right, but it was in the midst of them pushing for what they thought would be their agenda that they ended up destroying themselves. Right, so, I that, mean, I think right. too that that what that's we're right. going to end up seeing is while they're pushing to push forward their own agenda, they're actually going to be doing it to their own destruction, to their own heart. And in the midst of that, the children of God are going to continue to rise and continue to take their place in God's prophetic destiny for each and every one of us. Amen. Well, and the reason why that is, is because there's no life in the dead. You know, the living are the who need, need to be lifted up, not the dead. The dead, you know, the way the system has been through this dark age we've been through, is that the dead have preyed on the living and, and, and fed upon the living for, for their sustenance, for their world system, for their power in terms of uh, political power and military power. It's all been a kind of a parasitical relationship with life because when they sell their soul, they, they, they become the dead. You know, I mean, that's, that's all I can say. If you don't have a soul, you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't have, you've sold that out, you're now technically actually on the other side and the other side always refers to the realm of Hades or of death that's why they call it the other side it means the dead the realm of the dead 
So the dead have preyed upon the living all these thousands of years. And, um, you know, I guess you could say from Cain on. And, and, but, the, but the weird thing is, is now the shift comes. And, of course, you're yeah. watching them freak out. And then you see people in the news media that you, you, you let into your living room and you've trusted all these years. You realize they're just pathetic liars. Most all of them. Mm-hmm. Because to get that position and to make that much money. They're not going to let, right? It's up to them who they're going to let make the money. And those people are making undeserved money. But they're making money for a reason. It's because they're propagating this dark kingdom. You know, for example, when there's a terror attack, okay, like San Bernardino, everything, you know, whether it's, you know, innocent, seemingly innocent Greta Van Susteren or the other news outlets, they're, they, whenever they talk to law enforcement about anything, they're always perfect. There's no hanky-panky going on. Even if it happens right in front of your face, there were three shooters now, there's only two. There were three males dressed in um, uh, uh, tactical gear, dressed in black, three white males uh, walking around shooting people. And now we have these t- Tafneen and whatever, it's, it's a terror thing. Okay. So the news media, now that's a gimme, right? Because that was right in the public record. So you'd think, okay, well, they're going to investigate that three white males with tactical gear. We're going to go ahead and ask the question. So Greta says, well, what do you think of the, uh, the report of three males that was you know, tweeted out or whatever, texted out? Um, no, that question never gets answered because if she did go that way, her paycheck and her position would be revoked. Period. Mm -hmm. Instantly revoked. So they're all stuck. I'm not saying they like being stuck. Hey, by the way, if you're in the media, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, The way you're going is the way of the dead. Change. Oh, but you might lose your journalist position. Yes. But you could then start your own show like Alex. You could start your own, do your own thing. See, that's, that's the thing, because what happens is for every time that they stay in there, they get split just a little bit more. They get, they, because what they're doing is they're actually, they know what's true, and they yet b- inside do. of them, they're going with a lie. And by going with a the lie, they, they go through that uh, cognitive distance. They go through that split. They go through even themselves internally tearing themselves apart. So, I mean, eventually they get that seared conscience. And eventually they become just something else. And they're, they're, they're pliable. They're, they're malleable by right. demonic spirits that want to work with these guys. I mean, so, so in yes. the end, you know, they're, they're not even there. And, and, and they're, they're the problem is, is becoming increasingly irrelevant as it is. Uh, oh, that's the other side too. Okay, I have that's to make an excuse for you now. Okay, I'm sorry. Trish I wasn't on my mic. Trish has been making technical errors today. Shame on Trish. Shame on Trish. She has a microphone, a very good one. And I haven't. she's supposed to talk into. And she's just laying it down on the floor or something. No. And, and at a distance. On a table. And, and so I'm sorry. So I'm holding it voice. now. It has not been present because she's not doing her end of the. She has a responsibility to t- take the mic and talk into it. Okay, and with that, let's. Uh, shall we begin our prayer? You want to begin the prayer? Okay. okay. Uh, well, I always let go of it and kick it off because he's the Amen. best. Sure. He's the best with word, prayer words. So go ahead. Govinda? Are we, are we still in the air? Govinda? Well, that would be amazing timing. Oh, my God. Wow. What happened? I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't touch anything. How bizarre. Uh, wow. Uh, he just got... He just, well, we were just going to start the prayer, and suddenly... Govinda dropped off? But right at that moment. That's why I thought he was just taking a moment. Of I did too at first. To, to, to warm up uh, to this uh, prayer. So. Uh, Let's see if we can reestablish contact. Okay, I'm going to have to hang up. Okay, you've heard that. That's the hang up. And now we're going to try again. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get him. Wow. He was already trying to reconnect, and it looks like... Wow. 
Yeah, that's no... They're afraid of our prayer. That's for darn sure. Well, but then that's where you have to show tenacity. That's all. Govinda? Uh, yeah, we have the connection on this other platform. Can you hear me okay here? Yes. Yes. Wasn't that timing interesting? <laughs> interesting. That timing is interesting. Hey, is this connection okay? Or is this, it's okay. Uh, it's kind of a little bit in and out. It's not as strong as the other. No, it's not. And um, I, that, that, uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I do. Uh, we were about to pray. We were about to pray. We were. Um, let's. Yeah, I, I'm uh, trying to see here. If there's any way to fix this. But um, well, let me say one other thing. You cannot be real friends with them that are on that side of things who have been, you know, indoctrinated. And and um, and then there's another issue. If they've been taking that money and get, building up that wealth from that from lying for a long period of time, it's very difficult for them to give that up. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I mean, you could make a case that we all have, you know, we all have dirty hands and all that from being in the United States and all the things our government has done in our name, and that's true. Again, Jesus and the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate blood sacrifice is the blood of Jesus Christ because that sets us free and that would set journalists free and everybody free. But um, that would break the bonds of Satan and this whole dirty business of our, you know, whatever, the Luciferian military industrial complex and the rest of it. It cannot stand, folks, and you people that are in it, it will not last, it will fail. I know that you feel very confident. I, you've told me, many of you, that you feel that you're going to be, you know, this is the path for you, that it's actually a materialistic path of, of work and, and building toward retirement and gathering wealth. No, it's not. It's a spiritual path, not a material path. And they give you things to the extent that you will aid them in feeding on the innocent, on the living. And so that's not a very good arrangement to be in. Okay, let's... Uh, let's let, try again. Let's try again, Govinda. Oh. I'm so I'm I'm giving on this other connection and we're just gonna do it this way. No, we're going going straight like this. All right, let's pray. Father God, just want to say thank you, Lord, again for this day. Thank you for life. Thank you for breath. Father, thank you for the chance to come together all over the world in Jesus' name and to pray, Father, to seek your face, to look to you, Lord, the author and the finisher of our faith, the one that made us, the one that knows us, the one that protects us, the one that leads us and guides us into all truth. And Father, we just thank you that amidst um, whatever's going on in this world, amidst whatever opposition the devil may ever set up against us, no weapon fashioned against us will ever prosper. No gate of hell will ever be able to resist and to withstand the onslaught of the kingdom of God as you move, Father, and as you direct your people to move in the earth. So, Lord, this day, Father God, we come before you in Jesus' name. We come before your throne, Lord God, boldly coming before your throne, Lord God, as your children, coming before our Father in heaven through the blood of Jesus that gives us access, Lord, through the very body of Christ Jesus that paved the way and opened the gate so that we could come before you, Lord, and we can make our petition known to you. And so, Lord, this day, Father, we come before you, Lord. We come before you with something that is on your heart, Father, and we bring it back to you as your spirit that is with it groans, Lord God, as he has, and makes intercession, Father. We come before you, Lord God, and we pray, Lord, in Jesus, and specifically around this issue, Father, of human trafficking. Lord, we are against modern day slavery. Father, we bring this before you, Lord, and we bring this before you, Lord, to, and, and we say this is going on right now in the earth. This is going on right now, Lord God, around us and in, 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 all over this planet, Father. Lord, you said, Jesus, that you came that the, to, to set the captives free. And Lord Jesus, you came to set the captives free, and we are here in the earth as part of your uh, continuing work in the earth, Father. And so right now, Lord, we pray specifically, Lord, there are many, Lord, all over this world that are literally held as captives this day. Father, they are held against their will. They are put into slavery conditions, Father. They are exploited on different ways, Father. They're exploited for labor. They're exploited sexually, Lord. They're exploited, Lord, for their organs. They're exploited, Lord God, through all these different means, Father, and, and, and Lord, they are destroyed, Lord, through 
of the labor practices that are there. Father, we pray right now in Jesus' name. Lord, that you by your spirit, Father, would intervene even as you have been intervening father we pray that this would continue just to increase lord that you would continue father god to raise up your people lord all over the world father and lord even those that are not yours lord it says in the scriptures father that the king's heart is in the hand of the lord and he directs it wherever he would desire for it to go lord throughout history father you have directed the hearts of even wicked kings to accomplish your purposes, Father. So it doesn't matter, Lord, because it's all under your hand, all under your guidance, all under your control. And so right now, Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, Father, that you, Lord God, would decree from heaven, from on high, that this issue of human trafficking ends, ends, Lord God, Amen. completely. Lord, that, that this issue of human slavery stops includes, Lord, that this is something that is no longer allowed, Lord, that this is not something that, that will transition into another form and then carry on into another age, but, Lord, that this is something that stops and ends. Father, we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would intervene. Father, we pray, Lord, that you would intervene on every level of society. We pray that you would intervene on every level, in the level of the spirit, Father, in the level of the natural, Father, in the level of people's minds, Lord God. Lord, let people see and understand things that they never saw and understood. Lord, let them exchange, Father, that the horror that this is for solutions that they become active and a part of, Lord, to see this done and finished and concluded. Lord, we pray, Father God, that you would raise up your true church in the earth, Father. Those that know you, that walk with you, that know your voice, Lord, raise them up at such a time as this to be instruments, Father, of truth. Instruments, Lord God, of solutions. Instruments of righteousness, Lord. Instruments that are empowered by your Spirit to speak and to do and to act according to your plan and to your purpose, Father, in this regard. Lord, we pray, Father God, even as you, by your Spirit, move, Lord, and you destroy the slave system. Father, that the world system will continue to fall apart even as they cannot prey on the innocent. Amen. Lord, as they cannot pray, Lord God, on those that do not have the ability to defend themselves. Lord, you said in your word, Father, that true religion, Lord, that you accept as, as pure and faultless is to look after the widows and the orphans in their distress Amen. and to keep yourself unspotted from the world. Lord, the widows and the orphans, Father, those are the most helpless in our societies. Those are the people, Lord, that cannot fight for themselves, that need others to look to, to look out for their best interests, Lord. And, Father, we know, Lord, that this system has preyed on the weakest among us, on the most vulnerable among us, Lord. And, Lord, we pray, Father, that you would raise up those that are in any kind of systems, any kind of institutions, to go after and to work towards ending this issue of human trafficking, that people would come to themselves, that they would realize their own morality, would realize their own humanity, and would engage themselves today, right now, in Jesus' name, towards a solution to human trafficking. Father, we pray, Lord God, that the voice of your spirit would, would, just, would just get louder and louder and louder. Father, we pray and we ask that you would just continue to dispatch angels, Lord God, over and over, more and more of them to engage in this, Lord, to bring things to the light, to empower, Lord God, your people, Father, with every resource that they need to do your plan on purpose at such a time as this. Lord, connect people, Father. Connect people with the hearts, Father, with the mind, with the solutions, with the ideas, Lord, with the abilities, Father. Connect people, Lord, with everything that's necessary, Father, to bring forward the solutions that are there in the realm of the Spirit that need to be brought forth into the natural. Connect them, Lord. Even now, Lord God, through strange, through mysterious ways, Lord God, through unexpected means, Father, connect them, Lord God, link them up to do your plan and to do your purpose. Father, we pray, Lord God, against those satanic workers that are in positions of leadership and positions right. of authority. Lord, those that would continue to perpetuate a slave system, those that would stand idly by, and those that would be actually participants in it and working to make sure that it keeps going. In Jesus' name, Father, we Stop. pray right now, we tear them down. Amen. We tear Amen. them down. Lord, you raise one up and you take one, someone else down, Lord God. And Father, we pray, Lord, that those that are in those positions, Father, that you would take them down. Amen. That they would no longer be able to be in those positions. They have abused those positions. Right. They, and Lord, you bring that to account. 
Lord, you bring that to account. Because, Lord, ultimately, Father, you are the one that brings all to account. You are the one that looks into the stewardship of what people have done and the positions and the places that they've been in. And, Lord, we bring this before you to say, Father, that those that are in the positions that are there, that all authority, Lord God, you said this to Pilate that you would have no authority unless your fa- unless the Father in, in heaven had given you that authority. So, so you would even gave Pilate that position. And Lord, we bring this before you, that those that are in those positions, Lord, that they have abused those positions. They have used those positions to demonic and satanic ends. And Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that you would Amen. remove them and set up, Lord God, good leaders, people that yes. will care for the people, people that will care, Lord God, for your, you, Lord, your children, Father, people that will care, Lord God, for those that are on the earth, for those that are here that are the vulnerable, Lord, people that will care and will implement and will stand and, and be safeguards for them. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, we pray that you would intervene right now and continue right now. to intervene, Father. Lord, know. we know, even as we prayed before, this doesn't have to even go all the way to 2020. You can, you can close this out. This, this month you can now. close this out. Or when you yes, move, Lord. things change. Father, you liberated the children of, of Israel out of Egypt. You, you brought slaves out by a million plus. You just brought them out. Lord, you've liberated slaves before. You can do it again. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, Lord, move. It's time yes. for an exodus of your people. Yes. It's time for your people, Lord, to be brought out of the slave system. It is time, Father God, for you to act and move once again like you have done before in history. Lord, that you would do this once again. Move on our behalf. And Lord, even when, Lord God, we see the pharaohs of this world that harden themselves and harden their hearts and put their shoulders back and stick their nose up in the air. Lord God, you put them back down and you remind them once again that they are but men and women and their very breath in their nostrils is alone from you. Yes. And Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name right now, again, joining with uh, what Govinda said about the innocent, that the innocent are preyed upon by the not instant, by the initiated, by the uh, indoctrinated. And this has been going on, this backwards way of life upon this earth for too long. It's been going on for thousands of years. You know, and Lord Jesus, you've come in and liberated us in the spirit and liberated your people, but there's still a lot more trapped in, in the system, thinking they belong to that and, and, and uh, when they're prodigal sons and daughters. So I ask, Lord, that you bring your prodigal sons and daughters, you know, home and out of that situation. And I pray that the people that call upon you, Lord, that you bring them out completely of a system that they may not even know they're in. Because most of the people that serve the beast system don't know they're serving it. And the ones that do know, um, obviously the very wealthy... <laughs> What? What was that? What happened? Govinda? No. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're and uh, Lord, I just pray that you bring them out, that you show them, as I have tried to show them on the Zephyr Report, Lord, for many years, I've tried to show them their position legally, their position spiritually, their position materially, their position soul-wise. Everything, I've, I've tried to prove it. I've, tried my, I've done my best to whatever I could say to make the case, but Lord, it's ultimately you that have to, to pull them out. So that seems to be the theme of our prayer today, to pull out those ones, especially, you know, anoint and awaken those amongst us who would be the leaders and, and show them, you know, where the power comes from. Show, show witches that don't belong there, that they're not witches, that, they, that if they want power, that you are the ultimate power, that they have it wrong. Convict them, Lord. Convict them of the guilt of preying upon these innocent. And, you know, when people have a cynical attitude, Lord, like, well, what are you going to do? That's the way the world is. Lord, correct them harshly, severely, with extreme vehemence. Correct them, Lord, that they would understand, like I, you made me understand. When you broke me, you made me understand there is nothing else but you. There is no other power but you. There is no other way but you. Amen. Please, Lord, I pray for a mass worldwide conviction of any of and all who are yours 
Uh, I, I know that people that are in the realm of the dead who belong there or who really are dead and walking around in sock puppets or whatever, I know that there's, I'm not praying for them. I'm just like Jesus in John 17. In your word, it says, I do not pray for the world. I pray for those that are yours that you have given to the Lord Jesus that, that, that you protect them, Lord. Now, on to the innocent, where this is all going, the innocent, the ones who have been abducted, taken, children, sex slaves, uh, drug trafficking, uh, arms, weapons trafficking, war uh, brokering. Lord, that all this stop. Lord, I, I, I know it's asking so much, but I just pray for that hand of that power to just confuse them all, to let them know, Lord, that you are the Lord. It's time to reveal yourself that's what you're telling me, to reveal yourself as the sovereign. There's the lamb that is above and beyond and has all the power and all the glory under the lamb. Who is God? Who is you? Who is I am? Lord, that they would know, that they would know, uh, and rather than, I mean, I can't take watching it, Lord. You know, I can't take, you know, to see a, a, something that they, deem as a sacrifice, you know, then the benefit, and then going off on vacation and, you know, with their noses in the air, Lord. Please stop that haughty, that awful haughtiness of the whore of Babylon. Lord, you've inspired me that Revelation 18 is really a real thing and that this is really, you know, and inspired me to do a song about it, which I'm, I'm working on now, Lord, as you know but to bring in this consciousness of this, who the whore of Babylon really truly is and what the spirit of this whore of Babylon is and that you're serious about dealing with it, that it's, they're not just gonna get a pass, Lord, and think, I hate to see them even believe that they got away with it. I know even as they are rebuked and their kingdom destroyed, I know they will think they've done nothing wrong. I understand that. Lord, I can't stand that, but I understand if you let them think that. But I would prefer, if possible, that as their system fails, and it will fail, it is failing now, and as it fails completely and utterly, that they know, that they know, that they have a reaction like this, Lord. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but this is what I see. This is what you're showing me. I, oh my God, what have I done? suddenly coming back to themselves, suddenly reawakening and realizing, oh my God, my whole life. Repenting. I've done nothing but harm to everyone and everything. Lord, I pray that conviction that sprawls out over the land and around the earth and in the oceans and in the, in the skies and everywhere, that that spirit of yours convicts them all, the Holy Spirit who is here with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Jesus' name, amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayer. Lord, we are grateful, Lord, that you brought us in the world such a time as this. Lord, we know, Lord, that we've experienced, Lord, our own hardships in this life, and each person has, has struggled, Lord God, that's still here, that, that they, they, every person has come through. But Lord, I pray right now that you would grant strength to your people, strength, Father God, to every person that is part of the solution, every person that is working and laboring, Lord, according to your plan and purpose, every person that is in law enforcement that is working to engage in the yes. solution, every person that is working, Lord God, to try to safeguard the lives of people all over the world, people that are working to try to create real and legitimate economies so that people are not vulnerable. Lord, every person that's working for technological solutions. Lord, every person, Father, that may be in compromised situations but is also um, uh, even in there trying to do good, I just pray that you would create opportunity for them to do that in line with solutions. Father, we pray, Lord, for every victim, Lord God, that is is enslaved right now. Lord, we pray that you, by your Spirit, would yes. reach them. Lord, that you would comfort their hearts, Father, and where wherever, Lord, uh, that that things can happen, Lord, that they would be brought out. But Father, we pray, Lord, that this would end. Lord, that you yes. would end it. Lord, Amen. That you would end, end human it, trafficking, and modern end day it. slavery. In Jesus' name, in Jesus Father, name. we act in accordance with your will. 
We ask this in accordance, Lord, with your plan and with your purpose. We ask this, Lord God, in accordance with that which you're doing in the earth at such a time as this. Father, we pray, we seal it. We know, Lord God, that you that began a good work in each of us is going to carry it on to completion. And you, Lord God, that began that work, even, Lord God, when you did that at the cross, Father, and your kingdom is growing and filling the whole earth, Father, that you, Lord God, will grow and fill the whole earth, Father, with your plan and purpose. And that purpose includes setting the captives free. So in Jesus' yes. name, Lord, we seal this. Father, we pray, name. Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that we would see tremendous Jesus. advances taking place, Lord, towards the close of this year. We go into this next year, Father. As we go into 2016, Lord, we know that we're going to be encountering, Lord, an incredible year of things happening all over the world in this next year. It is going to be an incredible year, Lord, where people's hearts will be failing them when they see things coming on the earth. But, Lord, in such a time as this, you are working as well, and you're raising up your people, and you're raising up your church to do your will on the earth. And, Lord, you're accomplishing your purposes. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, that in the midst of all of this, Lord, that you will end, Father, this slave system, that you will end, Lord God, human trafficking, and that your people would raise up strong, Lord God, and that they would do the purpose that you have for them. In Jesus' name. Pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. That was a weird sound. Wow. In Jesus' name, amen. That's Are you the, still there, Govinda? I'm here. Okay, well, that was wild. Uh, I think that's what you're getting, another call? Is that what it is? Oh, it, it's, yeah, it, it was just something, because I've switched to the connection, so. Okay. All right, well, if you prayed that. Okay. That's, wow. If you prayed that prayer. Um, and you've done participated with us in 20 on 20 or prayed your own prayer or meditated or whatever you've done in beseeching the creator of this world and uh, the, the one who whose plan includes everything and all things and every cell and every tree and every planet and every and every bit of the cosmos every everything there is who made it all then you've aligned yourself with the true power of everything amen a power that they can only derive by preying upon the living, that we have direct. I try to make this case all the time, but uh, like I say, the people that are so street smart and worldly savvy, they seem to have a different view that, well, they see the way it works and uh, you're not going to fool them with pie in the sky stuff that never comes true. You're not going to fool them with some God that's distant. They got to they gotta get what they got to get and they got to do what they got to do. And the problem is that they sink deeper and deeper until finally there is no going back. And I don't know when that point of turn is. Is Govinda there? Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Well, that was a great prayer. I really felt uh, anointing on that. And uh, we're going to end human trafficking and the whole system in the name of Jesus. Yes. That's right. The whole amen. system. Amen. If the whole system, uh, if the human trafficking is gone, Govinda, then the system would be gone. Yeah. You know, and, and I, and I as, as, as we keep moving forward in all of this, as we keep doing the part that God has for us to do, we're, we're seeing that. You yes. know, we're seeing that this is really a, a conclusion of a lot of things. And, and as God is engaging and moving in this, that and we we do the part that God has for us. That there's going to be um, a shift, a change, and and the thing is yeah. too is that this is not something that is contingent on human effort. This is God working. This is Him doing His purpose. His Go, plan. Govinda, why do you why do you suppose that God allowed it to get to like the you know another Sodom and Gomorrah thing? I mean, why did He let it get to that level? You know, I uh, the, uh, so, some of these things. I, I I'm I I've wondered the same thing. Um, I mean, I think part of it is allowing people to see where they go without them. I think part of it is allowing for the the full expression of free will, which we have. You know, I, I saw there was a, a Tozer quote recently that I, I saw that every man is as full of the spirit as he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that when you posted that. What did he say? It's a Tozer quote. Every man is as full of the spirit as they want to be. And, and you know, I, I, I think 
part, part of this part of this whole thing has been an expression of who people are and and who and where they go without Christ and what they what they become and that's part of of, of uh, what we're in the middle of. So well, I, I think look at what, it. I look at it as a test, okay? Because that that always fits, you know. The, the 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 when you call it a test as a metaphor, let's say, it's like what you will choose under what conditions, yeah. how you who you will be under you know obviously for most people it doesn't matter if they're wealthy or poor you know sick or 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 young and 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 healthy everyone suffers anyway despite you know you you know despite the 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 differences in class system or the differences in age or whatever or circumstance everyone suffers anyway you know they they, either they uh we have more suicides among you know the wealthy it seems who have but the bouts with 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 whatever they're on your way and then of course the the poor who feel they have no hope and and you know they tend to last longer but anyway whatever it is it's it's suffering upon the earth and um yeah. you know ever since i mean when i was young you know when i was a boy i we had you know the the the, the nuclear threat of the cold war and the cuban missile crisis and the and the hiding under the desks, you know, as, as if that would protect us. We had um, the the killing of Kennedy, which was on television. The killing of Oswald, which was also on live television, which I was too young as a boy to see that, but I did see that to traumatize me. Then we had Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King, and then we had, you know, later on we we saw other hits. We had, you know, other uh, attacks. We had the Vietnam War which, you know, turned out to be another kind of a, you know, which was destroying people right and left. We have the war on veterans, so they, we ask them to go into service for us, and they go do this service, which may not even be related to the security of the United States, but for the, for, for the private in- interests and business uh, aspirations of a few criminals, and, um, you know, but using our tax dollars to do it. And all this kind of makes me sick. We have a media that goes along with it all. We have politicians that go along with it all. And everyone keeps looking to pass the buck or blame somebody else. It just seems, Govinda, that it's, that it's too big. Nothing's too big for God. That it's so big, the corruption, that, you know, I mean, a, a person looking at it without the Lord would say, well, who am I, you know, like the Annie Lennox, the, the, the Eurythmics song, you know, who am I to disagree you know, sweet dreams are made of these. So, in other words, what she's saying there is just go along and don't complain. You, don't go along. Well, and you know that 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 is in the scripture. I mean, when they talk about you know who can make war against the beast, you know, I I mean, you think about the children of Israel and 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 Egypt as well. It's just like I mean, who can get out of this slave system that they were in? So I think I think it has to be. Um, uh, it has to end up becoming something like that for us to truly see also the hand of God moving. Because otherwise, I mean, we've already seen right now the way that the world is, how quickly people will try to justify something or say what they see is not what, what's really there. I mean, they will always right. try to pass it off and make it something else that is not. And so it has to go to a point where people will come to this conclusion that's like, okay, that's God. You know that that's got to be God, and 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 that's and even where in scriptures where it talks about uh, like people saying to the mountains, "Fall on us and cover us and protect," you know, save us from the the wrath of the Lamb yeah. that's yeah. coming because they'll they'll know that it's Him. Yeah, you know they, they know that it's Him. They'll they know, know He's there. Him. Yeah, somewhere they know He's there, and they just figure, well, He's not going to show up in my lifetime, so I'm just going to you know kind of slide by. Yeah. yeah, no, it, it, it's it's not it's not what that's not what. No, it's a test that they, they they when you go to that other side, you're just saying, I fail the test. Yeah, you know, you're saying I failed, and I'm not going to even try anymore to do the right thing. I'm just going to, you know, and and that's the thing. When I see the amount of um, you know blood sacrifices going on that are you know they've made to look like accidents and things, but in these say the entertainment industry and you know. You know, it's just as traumatizing to have Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and, and Jim Morrison all die within, you know, a very short t- period of each other. And to see these hits going on, and to see all the, these uh, record moguls and everything going up, up, up in their income and their wealth as a result, you know, to see the people benefiting from these kinds of nefarious activities. And then there's a cover-up that goes on society-wide from either law enforcement or the industry itself or the coroner's office. How many times have we seen the coroner 
participating in covering up like Breitbart that it was a hit Breitbart you know? then he got hit too the coroner Breitbart was Breitbart was a, was a blood sacrifice in my view and so was the coroner that worked on it so after he covered it up yeah after he covered it up that wasn't good enough so I mean where does this end well, I'll tell you where it ends do the right if, thing if left unchecked Govinda and Trish if left unchecked this goes to the very destruction of every last one of us but God's not going to let that happen. Amen. Because see, cynically, the guys at the top, the Satanists at the top, they'd like to, to draw God's hand. They'd like to make all of us corrupt, force us all to be cannibals who have sex with anything that moves or whatever, uh, and, and to scar our bodies up and to, and to do everything of that which is against God, to do all that stuff so that it would trigger God's hand of wrath to wipe us out. And those people, the top Luciferians, are not beyond that. They go, ha, 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 I tricked God into slaying these people that I manipulated into decadence. I'm just saying. Yeah. There is that well, I'm level of double-double. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. Anyway, uh, all right, Govinda, well, let us know any of your thoughts right now about, you know, what we might see in the next six months or year. What do you think? Well, I, I mean, I, I, I do feel I think we're going to get rough, you know, and I think that those are going to be necessary just because, um, because that's just the times that we're in and that's the season that we're in. I, I, I mean, I, with, I, I do agree with when you talked about too, like pockets of different things. And I think too, in those pockets as well, the children of God are, are, are being raised up and are being protected and are being led and guided to do certain things that are crucial at this time. So, I, you know, I know that, that there's going to be things that are coming up externally, but I don't, for myself too, I just the encouragement is to not get distracted by all of that. You know, mm -hmm. there, there's yeah. the, the key is to stay on track, focus, and allow the Spirit of God to set that direction within each and every one of us and move the direction of, of why, why each of us is here. We need to, to have focus, otherwise we're just gonna get wrapped up and diffused into a, a meaningless, um, at, at, in the middle of what's going on. And we've been given specific assignment. I mean, I think we, we can get caught up with the externals, but I think there's there's something bigger that's going on that, that we need to be focused yeah. on. So, you know, that there's a, there was a, um, a, 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 a important quote that I came across recently too that I just talked about even um, you know Native Americans uh, early early spiritual men with those tribes and they said that their daily activity was shaped by their vision and uh, you know I, I thought I thought that was important for us even in such a time that we're living right now is God is going to give each and every one of us a vision that mission a purpose that direction. And we need to allow the activities that we engage in on a regular basis to be shaped by that vision that God has put in us so that we yes. can be a part of what he's doing right now. Um, I, I, I think we're going to, as far as like external manifestations, I think we're going to see turbulent clashes through different factions that are going to come more and more on the surface. We're going to see these flare up all over the world. I do think that's going to be part of of what is going to continue yeah. to happen and continue to, to, to be taking place. But I think, too, for the children of God, um, we're not supposed to be in any type of fears. We're fear not. You know, we, we are here at such a time as this, and God has given us that, that uh, everything we need to be effective. And when the time comes for each and every one of us to check out, praise God, because to live is Christ and to die is gain. So we shouldn't be afraid of that transition either. Right. And, and prepare. Right. Prepare. Uh, I just wanted to add one thing. A sister uh, in Christ told me yesterday, and this might uh, help in your preparations, is that uh, she's only had about five of these visions over the years, but they always come true. And um, she said she had this image, a vision of uh, fireballs, going and coming on here in America um, and heard the voice say March 21st March 21st 
you know, with terror everywhere. <clears throat> and then, um, wow, I'm just shaking. <laughs> uh, she wa she asked for clarification, and it said Wednesday, March 21st, and that's in 2018. Great, Trish. I, I don't know how, why I was led to. She just told me that yesterday, and right as I was talking right now, I just started. They've always been shaking. Accurate. Yeah. The ones that are accurate. She's a my dear sister. Out there are. Um, not ones that you're going to get on the big prophecy channel. The, pro the accurate prophecy you're going to get like this underground, whispered to you. I hope you know the difference between, you know, the two things because we have, you know, the commercial prophecy thing, which they're always wrong. And then every once in a while there's this word. Now, I, I you know, the track record is one thing, but, you know, it, it, I, I'm, I know this person. A person of integrity and I can just tell you that they don't you know they don't profit by having a vision every how many years I she said she only had five in her life five in her lifetime so you see that's that's something I would pay attention to so that's Wednesday March 21st 2018 a time I suppose of great chaos and unrest yeah. in the world yeah well that means if Trump gets elected he hasn't done very well well, I hope he's president when it happens, if it happens. Well, I'd like to pray right now to stave that off. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah. I, I, you know, no, I don't want to see um, mass death. That's why we go out there with our radio programs. Because we know, folks, listen to me, you people in the world. We know that the, 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 the situation that we have ourselves in right now, or that you're in, leads to total destruction for us all. We know that. And we know that we don't want to destroy our children. We know we don't. Well, we know you don't want to destroy your children. We know that. Um, you, but you can't just have an attitude of, well, this is what I got, and this is what I got to work with, and uh, that's fine. That this is what I've got. This is what I've got to work with, and um, so I'm just gonna, you know, go the easy way because that's that's what's offered, and you know, who am I to uh, to question it? Well, that's what our generation did. My generation, folks. The one right before me that were the hippies and all that, they did the same thing. The one before that, even the World War II generation, they did the same thing. But I can tell you this, it always leads to the same complete collapse. We must change and then you'll see the world change. It can't be the world can change, then I'll change. And okay? human trafficking. And we want human to end slavery. Human2020.com, folks. Human2020. You can catch Govinda on um, faithmix.com, faithmix.com, and whenever Govinda has a word, I can tell you, I, whenever I hear a Govinda word, I'm always blessed by it. Amen. And that I can't say about too many people. I mean, they talk a good game until they say something that just isn't right. A lot of people can say that about me, I suppose, because I, you know, every once in a while, I'll have an F-bomb fly, and I always feel guilty about that afterwards. But anyway, Govinda, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for joining us, Govinda, right. from Sri Lanka. And uh, thank you, um, lady, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Zef Daniel for the Zef Report and for Govinda and Trump.